Hello everyone, this is me Swara Bhatnagar from swarabhatnagar.com and today in this tutorial you will learn how to take the backup of a WordPress website. Now first of all, why to take the backup of the WordPress website because it is very much important. The reason is because WordPress releases its updates on a very regular basis and uh, sometimes you see the updates of uh, your plugins and sometimes the theme releases its uh, updated version so every time you update your uh, theme or your plugin so it makes some changes to your website and uh, sometimes uh, although very rarely but sometimes it happens that uh, a certain change in your plugin or in the new version of wordpress sometimes a change can actually affect your website and uh, it won't function or behave as properly as it was behaving in the earlier version so it is better it is good to take the backup of your website and uh, keep it with yourself and uh, sometimes if these kind of things happen then we should have the backup so in this tutorial you will learn how to take the backup of your wordpress website so first of all what you need to do is you need to go to your uh, plugins over here and go to add new Over here, you need to type back WP UP, back WP up. So, this plugin will come up by inside the GMBH, whatever. And uh, to save some time, I have already installed this plugin, so I won't do it. And uh, if you are a newbie so if you want to know how to install a plugin i will provide a link below and uh, <clears throat> this plugin you have to install and once you have installed this plugin and activated the plugin all you have to do is this is the plugin dashboard and uh, over here you need to click on add new job and then you can give a new job name so for example I will give it backup underscore today's 10th of December 15 2015 okay so this I will give it this name and database backup file backup and the installed plugins list so these three and uh, you can uh, download it in any format like dot zip dot tar gzip so you can select any for format and uh, <clears throat> there are options where you want to send this to so for example you want to send this to a particular folder or to ftp or to dropbox directly onto dropbox or you can send it via mail but this i won't recommend because sometimes the file size is, size is too large that the mail won't accept it so what you can do is you can uh, back up to a particular folder and over here you will see that a new uh, menu will come up new tab will come up to folder so i will click on this and you can change where do you want to now store it but uh, okay we will keep it this way and uh, now what you have to do is you just need to click on run now and your backup will start uh, processing so over here as you can see the backup work uh, it has st already started and it will take like uh, it will depend on the amount of content which your site has my site is not having a lot of content as of now so it will this work will be done quite early but it will depend but uh, your work will be done so it's a good thing to do so that is the complete procedure how to take the backup of your wordpress website and uh, this will keep you safe from any malicious effect uh, which your site can which can affect your site so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you in some more tutorials thank you